Hey guys, welcome to this really quick unboxing video of the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is a very new phone and this is my first time unboxing a phone that is actually new because all of the phones I've used are either old phones or cheaper phones and this is the first time I've actually seen I've actually had my hands on a very new phone. So this is the box, it's not as big, it's just a very small box with just the pen on the main side of the box, a little sticker that hasn't been teared off yet and some really quick specs. So you can see this is the 256GB model and on the side there's the phone's name. So right now I'm just going to cut this thing off and start the unboxing. So I guess you can just let the phone slide out like that, let gravity do the job and uh, maybe use your hands to help it a little bit. There it is. So that's the phone itself, I'll get to that later. In the box, there's uh, this tiny, this smaller box, and I guess that's where the user manual and the SIM ejector is. So let's take a look what's inside. And there is a phone cover. So this, I'm actually quite surprised because I thought Samsung doesn't provide phone covers for their new phones. I thought that was just Huawei's business, but they did. So that's a good thing, I guess. And here are a few. Here are a bunch of papers. A quick start guide, a warranty card, another warranty card, region lock. I guess that's for the SIM card. A Samsung Pay which I guess you can scan the phone to pay instead of using your card and a Chinese version of the quick start guide so that's all from the box here and there's the SIM ejector I'm not gonna take that out so here's the phone there's a little sticker here you can pull to get the phone out and there's the phone itself and ouch it's so shiny I just blinded myself you wanna see how shiny it is? Let me show it to the camera. I'm gonna shine the light directly to the camera and let you see how shiny it is. There it is. It's really shiny. You can even see my reflections on it. Alright, so here's the sticker and here's the very satis satisfying sounds. I'm just gonna put my mic closer to it and let you listen to the sound of the sticker being pulled off. very satisfying so let me just put the sticker apart I'm gonna put the sticker back in the box and here's the phone in all of its glory look at all the shininess it is so clean and here's the front of it and apparently there's already a screen protector being applied to it if you can see it I think you can see it so here's the phone and of course there's the pen, you just have to click it there's, it makes a little sound when you un unclick it very satisfying as well and the pen comes out the pen is very blue and I guess it's battery powered I think, I don't know I haven't really read much about this phone and before you know this is not my phone uh, my parents brought this phone for themselves and in the meantime they're using my Blackberry so I'm stuck with a very shitty phone at the moment so this is for this phone is for them and I'll get my Blackberry back so I don't really care about this phone so I'm just gonna review it on a very uninterested person's point of view and here's the rest of the box here's a little piece of paper and here's the charger it says super fast charging and there it is, you just have to push it out and stick it in so it's only a type C to type C so there's no USB I guess and here's the rest of it here is the cable there is the phone cable so this is a type C to type C Alright, let me set the cable aside and set the boxes aside. So what might this be? I 
I have no idea what this is, but I guess it's to charge the headphones. No, not really. So what actually is this thing? This is a piece of metal. Oh. So if you can see on the inside, this is the tip for the S Pen. It's being covered by this piece of metal. And I've owned a Wacom tablet before and this is the pen, this is the thing you use to clip to get the tip out of the S Pen and put the new ones inside. So that is very creative. Samsung actually provided two extra pen tips for the S Pen in case if you draw too much and you break the pen. Very nice. And so that's the rest of the box, it's just nothing. I'm guessing they're gonna say this stuff is made out of recycled materials. Alright, so that's all you can that's all you get inside the box. Now let's take a look at these AKG headphones. I'm not sure how do I open this thing. Oh there it is. So these aren't wireless. I thought they were wireless from the looks of this. Apparently they are not, so I don't know, I, I don't really mind. Alright, let's get the headphones out. Okay, the headphones are out. No, they're not out yet. Come on, okay. So here are extra ear tips. You just put it in one single piece of paper. And here are the headphones. I'm gonna give a little quick review of these headphones later on. But it feels really nice to the touch. It's powered by the Type C, of course, because all new phones do not have the tip anymore. So, this, this part of the earphone is made out of cloth wrapped wire, and the top is made out of rubber. So, there's a little thing here you can split. So this is what the headphones look like. And then there's the microphone itself and a volume control. Alright, so I'm gonna set everything apart and we'll turn on the phone. So before we do that, let's take a look at the cover and how the phone fits inside it. So this is a very normal, typical cover, transparent. And the phone goes in just like that. There it is. Now the phone's in the, the cover. And it's still shiny as always. So I'm just gonna take it out again. There it is. Very similar to every other Samsung phones. Oh, there's still a little piece of sticker down here that I did not pull off yet. So let's pull that off. Oh, in the meantime, if you are listen to the sound. Alright, there is no sound. So that's the bottom part of the sticker. There's one more up top. I'm gonna take this one off too. There it is, nice and easy. So we're in the setup screen, so we just set it up. Okay, I've skipped most of the setup parts, and now we're gonna see some of the features on this phone on the setup. Okay, so that's the end of the setup, and here is the phone. But to be honest, this is a very beautiful looking phone. Very nice display, very big screen. It's basically covered the whole of the phone. Overall, it looks very nice. It's a pretty looking phone. And there it is. There's not much to review on a phone like this because it's got all the features you need. Whatever you can think of is probably all in here somewhere. So. I'm gonna go on an in-depth review soon, so stay tuned for that.
this is just the unboxing video so thank you for watching and stay tuned for the quick review of this all new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus